Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. We need to address it rather than uh, keep dragging it. I would prefer, let's, uh, let's, let's offer some kind of a, a resolution. The newly elected chair of the Guam Education Board, Peter Alexis Atta, said this of the unresolved case surrounding Superintendent John Fernandez, who was ousted by the board last October and subsequently filed a $7 million lawsuit against six of its members last year. With the change of leadership following the November elections, a total of five of the six members who voted to oust Fernandez are no longer on on the board. Most recently, member Ken Chargaloff submitted no his letter of resignation on December 30th. That means that there will be, the governor will now have two appointees. According to Ada, Chargaloff's resignation left two vacancies for both an appointed and elected position. While the next highest vote getter would usually fill the elected position, because there weren't additional candidates on the ballot, Governor Calvo will have to appoint two additional members to the board. Meanwhile, the new members that were sworn in Tuesday evening are set to hit the ground running. We're going to meet with especially the three new board members, and uh, we're going to give them the entire packet of everything that is uh, on litigation. Let them review it. I will give them two weeks. After two weeks, they'll meet with the rest of the board members, discuss it, and I'm hoping that they'll come up, they'll be able to come up with some kind of a resolution to some of these matters that uh, are pending. While Ada couldn't provide further details, Vice Chair Maria Gutierrez said she commits to providing full transparency going forward. I promise that we will all work together as one, as a team. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.